What's up my friends? Are you ready to JavaScript interview? So in this video I will show you how to create bind polyfill. It's a very popular JavaScript interview question how to polyfill bind method. Let's start. But first of all don't forget to subscribe my channel and let's start. In JavaScript very popular question is what is a context? In general context it's an object where pointer this is pointing. So, in, in general, in our case, let's type this. So, right now it points to object window, it's global window and uh, it has some properties. But using the method bind, we can change this context for a function. So, first of all, let's create some function. So when we show, when we run this function and uh, console log this, it shows it pointing to window. But in general, we can change it. To do it, we need to use bind method. So let's create it here. So So, as you see, it shows two. Okay, let's do this one in this case. So it shows this name. In our case, for JSBin, it this name is JSBin output. Okay, now let's change it. So let's create a new context. In our case, it will be just object. So, and I want to show this name. So to do it, we will use bind method. Bind method, it returns a new function. So we need to save this function. Let's call bind and uh, pass new context. And now we have this function. Let's run this function. What do we have? So as you see, the previous one it was just been output. It for say hello. It shows this name. And when we run this function, we show this output. Then I create a new context with the property name because of we are using this name and uh, created a new function. We passed a new context we bind a new context so and uh, it's how bind method works the next interview question usually when we bind a new context to this function it's a function can we bind uh, something new for example i have a new user and uh, i want this function bind a new context. Let's create a new one. So let's run this function. So when we bind a new context, we expected that here it should be all outputted Oxana, but let's check but we still have maxim so we changed context bind the new one but output wasn't changed so why it happened to understand this behavior of bind method let's create polyfill and it will show you and this polyfill will show how it works so to do it let's override the function let's create for example my bind So what is a polyfill? Just understand. 
in case the old browser we are using do not support some methods or functions which are supported in, in generally in all new browsers, we can create a function which will implement the same behavior as we have in new browsers. For example, bind. If we don't have bind in all Internet Explorer browser, we can create our own bind with the same name and it will be great for all browsers. So. What do we need? We will have this new bind. And uh, first of all, let's save context. And we need return function because of bind returns function. So it's very easy. Now you understand that we have call so to change context we can use bind call and apply they are a bit different but so we create a function which returns a function inside we call function on which my bind is applied then we pass in new context so let's try for example we have still the same function say hello Say hello, my bind, and uh, we pass maxim. And the same for Let's run. And as a result, you see it's still maxim. Why? Because of inside this function we have closure. It's JavaScript closure. So here is a sample. When we are passing x and inside the return function we are using this x, x is in the closure and we can't change it. So the same behavior is in this polyfill. We pass context and we return this function and the context is in the closure and we can't change it. So that's why when we try to bind new context for already bind function, for example, hello marks, we can't change it because of it was already in closure. So it's how this function work. And this one is very simple example. Because so we can just pass new context, but we can't pass any arguments. So let's extend this function a bit. For example, we have this function. For example, we have hello and let's pass For example, we change this function a bit and let's run. We will see that we have undefined. Now let's pass some parameter. Let's rewrite this my bind function and we change it to allow passing some parameters. So we have context and um, some arguments we can pass it. Then we will return a function which accept another arguments. So we are using spread operator and create array. It's array of arguments. And now, for example, when we passed context, now we can pass some argument. For example, this one or this one. 
And as you see, now we are say we have hello marks function and we passing salute its high here maxim and uh, the second one we can pass argument hello and it will be hello maxim. So context was bind previously and in our function we just passing salute. And it's a simple way how bind method works, how we can create polyfill of this method and uh, why we can't rebind already bind function. So don't forget to subscribe my channel because of soon you will see more interesting JavaScript interview cases. So good luck.